how much they've seen, how much they did. Because when these men and these women were boys and girls making plans, the world had other ideas. Now, decades later, these veterans of World War II, Korea and Vietnam are embarking on a journey, an honor flight to Washington, D.C. to visit the monuments marking those wars. I'm very excited about it. As a teenager, John Koenig survived the Nazi occupation of Hungary in a forced labor camp. Just a few years later, as an immigrant to the United States, he was drafted into the army. What did you think? It would be an honor for me to serve the U.S. His story may be unique, but his humility is not. I have big feelings right now. Because Arthur Shore, who turns 99 on this day, says these events always feel like they were meant for someone else. Because I never served overseas, I never had the feeling that I participated. And it, so it took a long time before I got, got to feel like I was a veteran. We are actively boarding. Get ready for one of the best days of your life. Everyone on this Spirit Airlines honor flight played a part, from supply to medical corps. This is what service looks like. Everyone eager for this journey. From the Baltimore airport. Thank you for your service. An escort to Arlington National Cemetery, where old soldiers paid their respects in virtual silence. Artie Murphy was my hero. So as soon as I can, uh, I signed up and I stayed 27 years. But I felt proud of what I was doing, need to do it. So did Myron Greenberg, who served from 1941 to 45. He passed away in his early 50s, but his sons joined the veterans on this day. They're all my father's face. They're all my father's spirit. Many people die. I'm the guy who's died in Vietnam, Vietnam War. The weight of sacrifice feels heaviest at the Vietnam Memorial. The names of those lost, the reflection of those still here. Despite ongoing conflicts, fewer Americans serve in the armed forces now than did in the 1940s. A smaller percentage shouldering a larger burden. But you still won't hear a lot of boasting out of this group. But on this Saturday, you'll hear this. birthday wishes to Arthur Shore, <laughs> along with cheers and crowds back in Fort Lauderdale, ways to say thank you for your service without words. Nicole Linsalata, 7 News.